myself and gave a lot less than two. But uh, most of it starts at home with, with myself and, and um, in the it's boat. more, yes, in the boat and in the little boat studio. And it, uh, it sort of reflects back to the time that Bill and myself were, where Bill would be a low, soulful, clean sounding voice. Um, and my writing was um, a lot softer. The music was a lot softer, not as hard edged. Of course, in the head things with Darby, it was, you know, she was a, a lot more of a rock and roll singer. So you write, um, uh, you know, for, for your singer. And uh, it's kind of funny because I've been with the headphones for five years, and uh, we've been together for five years, and the Too Loud McLeod name is really, really blown up since then because the headphones and the Too Loud McLeod name finally fit. And a lot of people think uh, now in 1986, well, oh, geez, how, how can you write music like that? You know, you know, like, you know it's, this is not the only thing I've ever done in my life. It's, uh, there was a lot before the headphones. There was a lot of years with Chilliwack. There was a lot of hit songs with Chilliwack. And there was a lot of that uh, softer edge in the cloud that was, that was in there. It's more of an R&B uh, kind of rock, where the head pins was more of a hard-edged rock. And we still have the edge, sort of like the head pins, but uh, where David sings more soulful. Uh, for instance, the songwriting is a little different. And uh, I prefer it a lot more, and it's really nice to uh, be in a new, new situation because the creative juices are flowing, and uh, we're starting at the bottom. Uh, again, nobody's telling us what to do. The uh, problem is when a band gets uh, to the halfway point, as we are talking about earlier, uh, we haven't made it yet, but we're not just a bar band and sort of the head pins were hovering in the middle somewhere. Um, it becomes a corporate rock band, and, or at least we did, and um, everybody's telling you what your next move is. And uh, I sure don't want to see that happen to this band. I hope we remain a, a group all the way along and hope for the best. Where do you figure the head pins went wrong? I don't think the pins went wrong anywhere. I think the pins did great for, for what we were. I think um, the way radio went uh, soft on us about a year and a half ago or two years ago, that had a lot to do with, um, I mean, the pins, we could have we carried on the next album and softened up completely, but that wouldn't be the head pins. So um, we all want to do different things, go different directions. I think that's the best thing for us to do. I don't ever think we went wrong. I think we made some really, uh, a really fine mark in Canadian rock and roll music, and uh, we made some great albums. <laughs> 